Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Cecil here, bring guys yet another video here today. Bring guys a cool little video on my YouTube, all my fonts that I've been using, if you can't tell by the way, I am sick, so sorry. Um, yeah, so basically all the fonts that I've been using uh, for my past tutorials and stuff like that, I know you guys always ask me and I always kind of ignore those comments because it's like, yo bro, if you want the freaking font, like look on the top left of like Photoshop, but of course not everyone always wants to do that and they just want to know, they want to get direct downloads, so that is what today's video is going to be. So you're going to see all these cool, basically top 10 fonts that I've been using currently uh, besides like you know maybe a little miscellaneous fonts that I don't really want to put in because I believe like everyone has them or either way like I don't really use them as much but basically my most used fonts for my 10 tutorials plus or uh, my top 10 fonts from my previous tutorials plus a couple pickups so if basically you can see them individually in the description down below and download them individually in the description down below I got them all from defont.com or just download a complete like big raw file because I know people freaking want them I know everyone always asks me yo why don't you have like a font pack on your cell file I I can't sell someone else's fonts, that doesn't make any sense, so, of course, I'm gonna make a nice little video here today for you guys, so yes, it's gonna replace the top three series, uh, if you guys didn't already, uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter and stuff like that, I said the top three series will be on hold for seasonal, so basically, I'm gonna leave it until, uh, summertime, so I'm gonna pick it back up, because I wanna have this series be really cool and exclusive, but, of course, in exchange, helpful videos and stuff like this will be what's gonna be posted on Wednesdays, usually, so, yeah, of course, Fridays are, of course, another tutorial, so, yeah, alright, so let's get this thing going, and, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, so this HQ out, bear with my voice, please, and uh, you can just keep smiling, stay positive, and stay productive. Later. All right, let's get this thing going now. I already told you guys, but if you guys see any cool fonts you see in the actual video, just go ahead and check them out in the description down below. They're all my current fonts. So yeah, and first up is G Tech Technology. It's a really cool little modern bolded font that I like to use for like, I don't know, COD banners or whatever. Like just a nice cool, like, you know, simplistic gaming banner designs. It looks really, really dope. I love it. Like I said, it kind of has this little modern feel to it. And uh, yeah, that's definitely one I would check out. Uh, next up is Kenyan Coffee. If you don't know about this one, then you're just like weird and lame. But if you guys don't, then you are very welcome and you're no longer lame. And it's just a really cool little bolded font. And it's just like, it's just really, it's just really clean and gets to the point. It's not very like wide or, uh, or takes up, you know, length space, but it's just really standalone just nice font, right? So next up is Lemon Milk. Um, it's one I used for my previous uh, abstract tutorial or my collage tutorial, I, I believe. Um, it's just yet again another really cool bolded font. I'm a really cool like fan of like having these bolded, uh, almost like serif fonts, but not so much. But you guys kind of get the point. It looks really good. I would definitely advise you guys to check it out just for another like cool little title text font. It looks just looks really good. So uh, next up is Long Shot. Uh, this is one that everyone probably knows in the universe, but it's just like again another cool like almost. I feel like it's a really good thumbnail font if you're looking for like thumbnails. Definitely go ahead and check that one out. Uh, next up is Prototype, and it's pretty much it's just it's just another cool little bolded font. It has a little. Bit bit of like a almost like a almost like a modern curvature feel in a way almost like velocity not really not whatsoever that's the wrong file I'm looking that I'm thinking of but it looks really good and I really advise you guys to check it out because it looks really really good for Cino 4D 3D like text and stuff like that so if you're looking for really nice 3D text for uh you know Cino 4D and stuff to like render out you know like a cool little 3D text I don't know it looks really good on that one so the next one up the Outbox ST is yet again another cool little 3D text one for Cinema 4D uh this is one I use like mainly and then prototype is kind of what I use for like a subtext and it looks really good that way I don't know or you can just like vice versa it looks really good when you put them both together uh for sure uh, next up is Bada Boom BB. If you guys remember my little comic book header design theme, that's when I use like a Comic Sans font. But you know, it's not really it's Comic Sans in a way, but it's it's really controlled Comic Sans if it makes any sense. It's really cool bolded Comic Sans font. I don't know how to say it any other way, but it looks really clean. The cleanest Comic Sans font that I actually found myself. I would love to use it, you know, more on just for like really cool little character kind of designs. Um, so yeah, that's definitely what I'm going to be using. Uh, Boast font. Uh, it's just really cool little another like almost like G Tech technology when you want one of the some of the first one that you guys saw. However, it's more compact and it looks really good that way as well. Besides having it like almost space too much, uh, so that's kind of why I got that one. Uh, next up is High Jinx. Uh, basically, a really nice cool thumbnail font as well. Also looks really good with Cinema 4D 3D uh, text stuff like that. Also, this font just it just works really really well for like gaming meta designs for like the main you know person's you know text or whatever like their their main name looks really good with that. And uh, last but not least in the top 10 is Big Noodle Tilting. I've been using that one a lot as well for gaming banner designs, like the simplistic one for Overwatch, because that's basically, I believe, I don't know if it's the original, original one, but the original font, I, I just typed in, like, what is the Overwatch original font, and I found Big Noodle Tilting, so that's the one that is actually the closest to or the original to the Overwatch font, so that's why I have that one. 
And uh, yeah, those are all my top 10. Next up, we're just gonna be the current pickups that I have. We're gonna be seeing in the future uh, future tutorials. Basically, built tilting is one of them. Uh, Chosons, Chosins, Chosins. I think that's how you say it. Uh, the next font, long haul, and then the font name is actually called FFF. So those are some like my new cool, my newer, cooler, bolded, almost serif kind of fonts I'm gonna be using for the future, just because they're nice and clean, looks cool. And the built tilting one is like one of my favorites right now. So if you guys didn't know already, I haven't used it for my tutorials yet, but it's gonna be in one soon. So you know that's what it is. If you guys are wondering, so yeah. If you guys like any of them, like I said before, just go ahead and just search in the description down below, download it, all that crazy stuff, or download the full raw file for you guys. So now you can stop asking me, do I have a font pack? Because the answer is that is going to always be no. I'm just going to direct you guys to this video, and that's just basically going to be it. So hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a like for, or excuse me, leave a comment for any little tutorial you want to see me do, uh, whether it be like a helpful tutorial, because like I said, top three series is on hold right now. And uh, yeah, pretty much, of course, don't forget to follow, uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at SwitchQ, don't forget to like leave a like on the video. 200 likes on the video does not equal secret down below because this is your freaking download. So yeah, I'll uh, just leave a like because you just want to and love me and stuff like that. So don't forget to subscribe. Also check out my Selfie, selfie.com slash SwitchQ for any premiums and packs as low as three bucks. And of course, as always, guys, stay freaking positive, stay productive, keep smiling, all that crazy stuff. You know, I'm just gonna leave because my voice is starting to hurt, and I'll talk to you guys later. SwitchQ out, peace.